State and police on scene at the corner of Stephenthaler and Salem Avenue for hours trying to detain a man they say is a person of interest in a homicide last year. Police called for backup from other jurisdictions after they say the suspect ran his car into an unmarked police cruiser. Two News reporter Sartaj Singh was on scene during the entire standoff and has the new information. Dane police were led on a chase that led them to this location here at the Wentworth apartment complex where the suspect was identified as a person of interest in a case in Dayton last year. He barricaded himself on the top of the fifth floor and this all lasted for nearly five hours. Detective Lieutenant spotted an individual that has uh, been a warrant had a warrant issued for his arrest for gross abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence and he was also a person of interest in the same homicide. Police say that homicide happened on Richmond Avenue last year, where the suspect they were pursuing was previously arrested, but no charges were filed. A grand jury filing recently brought those charges to light. The chase led to a BP gas station on the corner of Siebenthaler and Salem Avenue. A witness we spoke with who didn't wish to be identified shared what he saw. He was sitting at the gas station. A young man was sitting over in his vehicle. He went from there. The police told him to get out, try to block him in. He pulled off a... a DT came and hit the side of his car. He kept going, came over to the BP, jumped out and ran to the apartment complex. The complex was then evacuated. People waited outside and some came to see what was happening. My niece called me uh -huh. and she told me about all this was going on. I said, let me, I stay down the street. So I said, let me get up here and see what's going on with my brother. Police sent in SWAT as well as a bomb disposal robot to try and locate the suspect, eventually finding him on the fifth floor. He really had no way out. He was on the fifth floor, and so uh, he's either coming out the window or he's coming out the doors. A hostage negotiation team was also brought in, all looking for a peaceful resolution. He was not contacting with us at all. We, we tried to use different means to contact him, and that was unsuccessful. And so at some point, we, uh, we did open the door and use some means to get in there and, and get him out. Officers say that the suspect was taken into custody peacefully, and also the officer that was struck by the suspect did not sustain any injuries in that crash. In Dayton, Sartaj Singh, 2 News.